Do you know the great vi thumbnails is not about just making great video, but actually when you have great thumbnails, it's much more easier for your viewer to understand what is the video about. Secondly, your viewer most likely going to click through more your video and also you may get more support from YouTube algorithm to get more people to see your video too. So if you're looking for a tool to create great video thumbnails for free without any cost and you want to see how to do it in a very smart way so that your your all video can be consistent about in a particular manner a particular brand color example congratulations you find the right video because in this video training sessions i actually going to show you how you can make great video thumbnails with a very free tool and very easy to learn and you will learn about it's absolutely for free and you can easily be consistently can create a template to do it and more importantly i'm going to give you the template too as well for you to create it you want that right so let's get started after working like last 15 years in it field this is what i realized what is it So I'm going to show you right now how to create great thumbnails and one of the brand thumbnails will be like this is the one. This is our latest brand thumbnails. There will be people and one of the second problem of this thumbnails you see the text have too many texts and those texts are difficult to read because there is no background or into it. So now we're going to create thumbnails like that where we have a bold background like this with color code so we can easily read the viewer can easily read actually what is the video about and it create significantly more electrifying effect for the viewers to click the video and really watch it all right yes so now i'm going to show you how to create that thumbnails right how to make this thumbnail so let's go and open up one of the videos here um uh this is the one to make it thumbnails you have to see what you really need to make it some kind of thumbnail when you look at the thumbnails it's actually telling you what you really need you need this kind of image correct and secondly you need a tool to design this thing and I'm going to show you how to grade get this this image and 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 how to design this one so I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way of doing that one, not just a very complicated way. So the different way you can collect this, this, this photo related to the video. So number one way is this. So you can see this one. The first goal you can do actually, you can take a snapshot from the video. So all you need to do, you just basically can play around in a different place where there is a great expression about the speaker that means right now is actually me in the video uh, the internet is just kind of giving up i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> oh maybe it's because of the internet because it was raining really hard the previous day so yeah the internet so let's say sucks. you have to find a good niche of the video where is that where it is so now let's say this is the place or you can find this place you can you can go around to find a great place uh, where I have a great impression talking very clearly and not blur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so here we go more. I'm actually finding a good spot. Here, let's say example, you, you, you decided to take this one, <laughs> which is not looking great too as well. Uh, maybe you can slowly can go back. Yeah, let's say you, you choose this place example. And then also get basically you can take a screenshot of this place the whole thing you know how to take a screenshot in windows it's in mac it's very simple Control shift 4 and it will do it but if you're using windows you can use the um, the screenshot or the print screen of your keyboard so now you already have a screenshot so that means you already have the image so this is one of the way you can extract sometime you cannot extract a good image so what i can do is i'm going to send you out a video uh, which has a HD video and you can basically take a screenshot from that video and put it on a video Let's say if I am in this video So you can actually use my image from another video where I'm in the video got it, right? So let's say example Yeah, so this is the video 
you put it on and then you can basically find me in, in a place where I am giving a great expression uh, let's say you have to find it out in the right spot let's say this spot you decide to do it all right it looks pretty fine so I'm gonna take that you can take a screenshot of this one or let's say I'm gonna using the QuickTime player so it's it has an option is about a new record new screen recording and then I just take enter screen and I press this cap capture and it will immediately will tell me to share it um, so let's say save and then Wait. I can John eight I saved that one image done so now I already so this is the second way doing this one that means you have a video downloaded in your computer and you can extract as many as many as you wanted to get from there so first way like a summary you can extract the screenshot from the video itself or you can have a good HD video downloaded in your computer and you can extract as many image you want to so I will get, I can send you some of the video sample in the description. When I send you this recording, it, it will be available in the description section. Okay? What? Yeah, please do. Third option is you can actually go to the internet. Let's say you find out something about entrepreneurship or let's say a tech tool. Let's say I'm talking about Slack. So you can write down Slack on laptop HD and you can go to the image. Make, make sure that you write down HD, otherwise the image quality will be poor. And let's say you find a really good image. Let's, one, let's say this one looks good, example. You can take that image too. You can write down, you can save images, and you save it. So these are the three ways you can collect. But the recommended way is the first two ways. You extract the video from the video. But one more thing you have to do. When you're extracting the video, from the from the particular video in YouTube make sure that you go to the setting and you change the quality oh. to HD otherwise your video screenshot will be have a poor quality of the video you got it yes so okay. the best exciting way to get a, a HD photo is to you download an HD video in your computer and you can extract as many screenshot you, you you can do it okay yes so now the first thing is clear you already know how to get these thumbnails background video already uh, image already so now you need to create this text so for this one i'm going to share you a canva template which kind of makes your life super easy and fast to do it yes. so this is the one this is the template you can see this one in canva for my and write down for your name keep producing so the best way to producing this one is this the way so let's say this is the one you took this one so what the first thing you should do duplicate it don't work on your main template duplicate this one select the image delete it the background it's gone right and you see that the highlighted text is all there so now the second thing we're going to do you're going to find your image where you take the snapshots so i just took it in front of you john 8 so i'm going to drag and drop that image to here it's going to take a few seconds to drop the image to your thumbnails. Mm. So now you have the image. So now you're going to stretch, uh, stretch the image to make sure that uh, it's going to well feed it, right? Stretching that one, you get it well feed it. Make sure yes. that my head is there on, on board and other things out. But now the problem is happened. You say this one, the text things are in the left side. It, it should be always in the left side because if it's not in the left side, the right side, it can be hidden by a lot of other buttons of YouTube. So make sure that you, you, your all the texts are in the left side. But the problem is I'm in the left side. So the, all the text is on top of the speaker, right? It's a problem. Yes. How to solve it? Very easy. Just click. Just click the image. And you go to flip and you do a horizontal flip. flip done you see now the flipped image is completely flipped and now i move to the left side <laughs> it's that easy yeah. this is a damn easy, yeah, okay. it's, that easy. Okay. it's that easy so now what you need to do click the image if you see the image is not going back then you can basically select the image and you can position them to the background so now you see it's already go to the background your highlighter text in the top Okay, so now 
let's select so now your template is there your image is ready to but you see it's kind of a black here and the image is not good so you, you're gonna select the image go back to the effects it's highly recommended you should do it for every thumbnails and then you use a filter effect select all and one of oh. the <laughs> one of the great filter is you scroll down to to Vinto. You select the Vinto and it will brighten up your whole image. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know how I can do that. Uh, it's a powerful tool. You just need to know how to do this one. Right now, I'm training you. So now it's uh, it's, it's no well. This didn't really go well because even I use the Vinto. So I'm gonna change this one. Aura. Another good good one. So you have to play it. Now it's better. Now you see it's brighter already. So it just felt like it's too much far I am from the presentation. So what you need to do is just basically slightly move a little bit inside and bring it on. All right. So now it's already. Oh. You see, it's already. Uh, so I'm gonna drag a little bit down to make sure that it's been well fitted. Uh, a little bit stretching it out done now it's like a good one so now I don't know what to type here right because I have not select the video so now I'm gonna help you how to pick the right video so now let's say uh, in your channel it doesn't make any sense so let's open the video so now I'm gonna give you so now it's like a video is there you don't know what to put in your thumbnails right so you just what do you do you put the video here and you basically you can well, actually sorry, look out it just like so you can basically look out because you don't know actually you have not decided yet what to put in this in in, in, in this one right but mm -hmm. I want to show you a very efficient way of doing that one too so a life always have a lot of resource around you you need to learn how to use it and how to look into it it's not copy it's about utilizing other people knowledge all right some people did great work, so you need to take the advantage of it so you can do better, all right? So this is the way you can do it, it's so easy. So you write down T for new manager, five crucial T for the first time manager, right? Yes. You copy that one and you just go back to YouTube and you search to see what are the other great video have, what kind of thumbnails for that. So you just oh. copy paste that title into that video. So now you have searched the tips for the new manager. So you can see all the other great videos, what kind of temples. So this person write down tips for new managers, tips for new managers, and we write down tips for new new managers, um, seven tips for new managers. So in the top video, so normally you always pay attention to the top five, okay? You don't need to go really, really down. Just pay attention to the top five. What is the thumbnails? text they put down over there you see five tips tips for new managers tips for the new managers seven tips for new managers and the one you think about the most exciting looking and has the most amount of views with the less subscriber so this one guy has only 910 subscriber but have 15,000 views so that means his thumbnail is working really good oh uh, this one have a uh, 14,000 but have 108 so his thumbnail is great too week one four things to do so now what are you gonna do so basically you can write it down something tips for the new managers right uh, so now you're gonna go back to your thumbnails so now it's time for the texting uh, how to is there right so here write okay. down seven tips example And then you write down four new managers. You basically type it. You see it's all there, right? You just stretch this up a bit. Uh, four success example. You basically can stretch it up for C double C double S. So now it's a little bit messy right now, right? Because uh, it's been uh, pretty big and so on. And here I have just made a mess. I should have done on the cap locks, which I did not. So now I just fix it. Seven tips for new managers. So now it looks a bit messy. So now what I'm gonna do, I need to resize this one because it's kind of a too big here. 
So I'm going to just scroll it down. And then I'm going to just move that four in the middle here. And then I can click back the background because it's, it's another background over there. What I need to do, I can resize the background here like this. Here. So this one looking a little bit big, right? But I think this big is fine. Uh, but but this part has, doesn't have a, a background yet. So what I'm going to do, I need to move that one just top of it and then basically I stress that one just enough to cover this up then I go back to the text again and you click again I give you a quick tips if you see that you messed up just click outside like this you see my mouse is outside if you click outside it will deselect all and then you can come back and you can pick the right elements you got it yeah so now what I'm looking for success right so now I put I move that one but now I need to put the background in the right Thing. So now I need to can stretch this out to background and then I basically stretch this background too and and then I will, no you can use the undo you can see that I actually squeezed it up but it should not so I just undo it and then I basically drag this one to place this one and now I figured out this kind of a too big here because there is a lot of space which is actually unused right yeah. So I can just basically cut that place and do that one. So now I have seven tips for new manager for success. Right. So now you have a thumbnail ready. So now what you need to do is just basically download it. So now you want to change the thumbnails. You back to this video. So this is your video you want to thumbnail. So one of the first thing you need to do, you need to switch your channel to be a channel you will be added you need to be manager of the channel so i will make you manager of this channel so you will be able to see it so how to switch um, this channel let's say john muscle purpose channel right so this is how you switch the channel you click the in the top right corner you see you normally you will see your own image over there and then you click the switch channel switch account you click it and then you will see all the available channel you have and as long as I add you in this channel, you will see Ask John, uh, John Masood Pervez channel too. You select that one and then it will be ticked here and it will load your page. So that means now you just move to this channel. And when you, if you're not moved to this channel, you will not be able to edit your thumbnails. Got it? Yes, up. So now you pause the video and then you will see this two button, edit video and analytics. So now you're going to click the edit video. And when you click the edit video, it will, it will open you the studio youtube.com. And when you do that, it's super simple. And you see the all editing thing, you scroll down, don't touch anything. Unless you see any typo, you can fix it. You just basically scroll down more 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 and here we go you see thumbnails and you see the button yeah. here you put your mouse on top of it and you see top right corner options you click it and you click change and then, then it will pop up the window for you and select that one and now the e is available you see so now all i need to do press the save and you are basically done oh yes that's how you make great thumbnails um, with a very less effort and best quality used with a free tool called Canva. Any questions?